The 2015-2016 winter season across Japan definitely was well shy of the average amount of snowfall we typically see for this country. Specifically in central and western areas of Japan, we actually had a very late start to the season and an early end to it and the overall snowpack was well below average with rocks and bamboo sticking up quite often. So the question is, how does the outlook look for 2016 heading into 2017. Now before we get into that, we have to figure out why 2015 to 2016 was so low as far as snowfall across much of Japan. And the main reason for it was the El Nino. Actually, I have a whole other video about the dynamics and what the El Nino results in across the Pacific Ocean as a whole. I'll put it in a link down below. But as far as Japan and winter weather is concerned, what you need to know is that during a strong El Nino year, a lot of storms come in from the southwest. They're warmer, they bring much more rain, and they also bring more snow for western areas of Japan and along the Pacific coastline. During a La Nina year, for example, though, most of the storms come in from the northwest. Now that's the big topic as we look ahead over the coming months. How strong is the possibility of a La Nina going to be? Well, actually, a few months ago, there was a La Nina watch issued by the National Weather Service out of the United States. They since have dropped it, but they still have the potential for one around 40 to 50%. Now, the Japan Meteorological Agency is leaning towards this slightly as well, indicating a slight La Nina. Check out these graphics from the Japan Meteorological Agency. First, showing you what they're expecting as far as snowfall for this coming year. And actually, above average snow for much of western Japan. We're talking about Hokuriku down towards the southwest. And slightly above average snowfall extending from central to northern Japan. The big reason for this is they are expecting some more of that sea effect snow, that classic sea effect snowfall setting up coming across the Sea of Japan. If you're not sure what sea effect snow is, this is the dominant weather pattern and what ski skiers and snowboarders absolutely want throughout the winter season. I have another video actually specifically about that. Check that out as well in the link down below. Now, if you're in central and northern Japan, the Japan Meteorological Agency is also expecting more bluebird days, a little bit more sunshine than average as well. So take that as you will. It does look like there's going to be a little bit above average snowfall, but more sunshine expected at the same time. Really at this point though, JMA and as well as my analysis on this, it does look like this year is going to be closer to an average year, maybe slightly above average, nothing too extreme, but a far cry from the El Nino year we had last year with well below average snowfall. Actually, take a look at this graphic. This really breaks down the difference between an El Nino and a La Nina year. With 2015 to 2016 at this one resort in Niigata, well below average, but check out 2011 to 2012. That was a La Nina year. And then 2008 to 2009, above average sea surface temperatures in the Western Pacific and El Nino. And then if we go all the way back to 05 to 06, another great year across central Japan. And so what I'm expecting is something more along the lines of 2014 to 2015 or 2013 to 2014, about average uh, for the snowfall out here across Japan. And that's really good news, a lot better, but at least at this time, that's what the outlook does look like. I'm going to put out another video probably in the coming months to update this a little bit, but for now, it does look like average or just above average. So if you're really psyched about the winter season as much as I am, you can check out some of my previous videos I made. Uh, this one actually made about my uh, recent trip in Hokkaido, or uh, don't forget to subscribe down below. I'm not only putting out winter updates, but also updates on typhoon, still in the middle of typhoon season out here in the Western Pacific, so plenty of weather to go around. Also, if you are planning on visiting Japan and do want to hit up some of the mountains across central and northern areas of the country, check out tokyosnowclub.com. This is definitely the page you want to go to. You can reserve a weekend. This is completely pain-free as far as the travel to and from the mountains out of Tokyo, and uh, number one recommendation. So do go check these guys out if you do want to uh, really get in some uh, good snowfall. At least that's what it's looking like. But with the good snowfall, don't forget to bring your uh, extra safety gear. Definitely avalanche gear is going to be needed this season, including a beacon, shovel, and probe. Definitely something you're going to be wanting if you are going anytime off piece across much of Japan. Uh, there is that threat. All right, guys, that is all for me, though. Thanks again for watching, and as always, stay safe out there.